No Boruto references. Thank God. True. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's the most consistently inconsistent entertainment commentary podcast. I'm your host, Jesse Sama, here with producer Plank. Woo! Yeah, we just finished watching uh, this Naruto iconic anime scenes reanimated for the 20th anniversary! Yes. I gotta say, I loved it. I loved it. Man, uh, that was actually such an experience. It it really was, honestly. It gave me the goosebumps, and I'm actually crying a little bit, and not from... Well, I mean, I was already crying, but you know you know what I mean. Like, whatever, whatever. We don't gotta, we don't gotta talk okay. about that. The fucking nostalgic... <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing, nothing. Yeah, yeah. The actual nostalgic strings that this managed to pull because I didn't realize, like, oh, yeah, I have been watching Naruto for 20 years. This is so crazy to say. So, uh, watching it, reading the manga, like, it's so surreal, bro. Like, uh, did you have a favorite part, by the way, when you were watching it? Oh, my favorite part. That's so hard. There were so many good parts. But I think my favorite part... By a long, by a a long shot, was uh, when Itachi like tapped him on the forehead. Oh yeah, 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 that's a good one. That's just one of my favorite scenes. And then the the one where he's sitting on the throne. Oh yeah, you see that yeah, fire yeah. ass shot. That shit's crazy. Because that shot was done like in, with shitty ass animation. And then you see him and he's just sitting there chilling on the fucking throne. That shit was beautiful. Shit was man. fire. Uh, for me, I'd have to say. Oh man, it's a tough choice. It's probably gonna be part one of the part one uh, of Naruto, like pre Shibuya. It. Um, it'll probably be the maybe Naruto in the tuning exams. Nah, it's probably gonna be that. Uh, actually, there's so many to choose from. Actually. <laughs> yeah there's um it's probably one of the orochimaru parts there's a shot before Shas sasuke leaves the village and he's like really frustrated that naruto is stronger than him and it like zooms oh, in yeah. on his face and has like uh his eyes are all red and shit like that yeah it's probably that one um if not it's gonna be the orochimaru tuning exams shot where he has like the the kunai in his mouth and then it goes to uh it, it goes to the land of waves arc and uh it's kakashi uh piercing ha uh, haku in the chest that part mm. that shit that transition was fucking gorgeous oh my god like the animation for, for this is so good i forget that this show is 700 <laughs> 700 episodes long yeah <laughs> they wrapped so, that up in 10 minutes yeah they really did and, and almost didn't it didn't really miss anything like no not really other than the Boruto shit, but nobody wanted to see that shit. Yeah, the only thing I didn't see was the Eight Tails. I don't think I saw anything on... on really? Can yeah, I, I don't think I saw anything on B fighting Kisame. Hold on, let me see. Uh, I don't think that was, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I that's in there. Because, let's see, Pain, and then the Five Kage Summit, and then it happens right after the fight. Nope, because then it goes into the Donzo fight. And then right after that is Kabuto revealing the 100,000 Zetsu. So, yeah, we didn't even get uh kisame in here so must not have been important so not yeah we didn't, enough. yeah we didn't get the eight tails we didn't get um the jin Shuriki lineup they immediately went into sage art and uh the hendo stuff hendo uh the uh sage of six path stuff there is that shot of naruto fighting the raikage and he does the teleport that shit yeah. eh, that's probably the most lackluster part uh, cause in the, in the manga and in the anime, they, they did that shot so well. So it's a little, I thought it was all right. I like that scene. Uh, I like that scene from the anime too. Yeah. It's pretty good. Or from the normal one, I guess. Then there's a, a part of, uh, where Sai, Naruto and Sakura land on the bridge to fight Orochimaru and Kabuto. And he yeah. goes, uh, he does the four tails transformation and it switches over to, uh, the nine tails. <laughs> that shit is crazy. <laughs> uh so yeah there's just so many really good shots if you guys haven't had a chance to go and see it um we're gonna leave a link in the description make sure you go and watch that uh be prepared to cry if you're somebody like me who's 30 years old and you grew up watching naruto this is absolutely insane oh and then here's that here's that itachi throne shot yeah i'm gonna I'm screenshot this i need this for an icon somewhere <laughs> <laughs> this shit is beautiful fire so, shot yeah so but uh also speaking of classic anime man i I, this makes me want to rewatch Naruto. How about you? Or like, a uh, I'm just because I remember exactly 
everything that happens, I'm probably not going to rewatch it because I know it's going to be shittily animated. Oh yeah, and it doesn't look all like all the this. fire I had from this is just gonna. It's gonna, it's gonna dwindle. You're gonna be like, oh, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna, watching? I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, I feel so, you. I feel you. So I will rewatch Yu Yu Hakusho, but that is not Naruto. That is not Naruto. <laughs> it's goaded, but that is not Naruto. <laughs> not Naruto. I don't know how we got there, but there's also um the shot. Where is it? Where right after Hagoromo is talking to Naruto and Sasuke. And they uh they have their six paths forms, and uh, yeah. Madara throws out this giant like lightning force thing, and them them dodging the lightning is crazy. Like <laughs> that's mm. a dope ass shot, man. So I don't know. This yeah. I was already rewatching Naruto not too long ago, and I got to majority of the war arc. I got until B was training Naruto, and they they can't let him outside the giant turtle. And uh, Kamuto yeah. and Daidara are outside, so I finished that fight uh, with the Suchikage, and right after that, I stopped watching. But I mean, show's still a banger, absolute banger, classic. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, goaded. So, <clears throat> and uh, speaking of goats, let's go ahead and get this out of the way, man. Uh, Bleach being owned by Disney. How we feel about that? Yeah. I'm scared because that means it's either going to go really well or it's going to go really poorly. So You think so? It could go really poorly, but I mean, I think Disney bought, what was it? It was a part of Fox? Something like that? And that's why they have Bleach? Uh, what, are they, what did they buy? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't fucking know. For anime? I don't, I don't know. They, they just got to yeah. own something. So if not, they just acquired the license for Bleach. That was it. I think they have the streaming rights because they bought something. They bought one of these companies and then uh, they got the rights to it. Yeah, they just so. they got a ton of stuff. So um, I'm just glad it's going to be on Hulu. So because uh, oh, yeah. with Disney owning two thirds of Hulu, I think that's really dope. Now, this is going to set a weird precedent going forward because when the season is over, how long do they have the licensing rights? And does it end up on Crunchyroll after that? Because... Crunchyroll having to take their stuff offline. And I think there was like a couple other places that I know Netflix had to take Bleach off. Uh, other than that, I mean, this is going to be weird because if companies can really just do this and eliminate like and have like solo exclusive rights for stuff, it's kind of scummy in a way because I'm pretty sure I think it's Sony who has the uh, uh, major uh purchase power in funimation so if they really wanted to yeah, they do they could just decide hey you know what all this funimation shit we gonna put this on the sony platform i don't even know what the fuck that would be but like crackle or something like that i don't know playstation mm -hmm. playstation tv i don't, I don't fucking know <laughs> whatever the okay. fuck they got and that's gonna be the only place to to watch those shows i don't know man i don't know this it seems really greedy and it seems unnecessary <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I don't I don't even know. Yeah. It's going to be weird looking at like the anime scene and and maybe just a few years cuz of the the way these companies are being bought up and shit. Yeah. And it seems like they're getting bigger and bigger but also smaller and smaller at the same time because these studios are um it's the same thing with like Attack on Titan and the studio change there. It was just like three different studio changes for three different seasons and it's like what the what is going on here? So I don't yeah. know, man. I don't know. I mean, but I think this this new arc is going to be pretty solid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah um, for sure, for fifty sure. something episodes, I believe. So maybe that'll rekindle Tite Kubo to like do some more shit. Uh, I don't know if it'd be a new series or something like that, or continue with what was that shit called, Burn the Witch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, maybe he'll continue with that. I don't know if that's still going on. I really didn't like that show, uh, particularly. So. Oh, that's right. There Maybe was like a little. Explore. There was like an anime run for it, right? Like an OVA or something. Yeah, yeah. I there didn't was like watch a few, that. a few episodes. I, I wasn't really feeling it, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it at all. I was reading the manga, and the manga is mad confusing because they try to relate it to Bleach. Like it's supposed to be like a hundred and some odd years later or some shit like that. I, I don't know. It's supposed to be in the distant future after, after the story of Bleach, right? But yep. none of the remnants of like the historical stuff in bleach like for example the soul society exist in 
uh burn the witch i mean they do to like some extent but they're not called soul society so it's like it's Mm -hmm. really weird um and not only that the the dragon and magic portions of it are kind of weird so i just i kind of dropped it after a while um it was dope it's got some dope waifus in it but i mean who cares like (laughs) okay yeah so I'm not, it's, maybe it's like, I'm on my full hater shit, but if it's not, like, either something pretty solid or, or Bleach, I really don't care. Yeah. But I would like something new from, from Tite Gubo. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be crazy if we got, um, some, uh, additional information on, you know, uh, there's, like, the additional arcs and stuff like that that are in the light novels. Uh, I would love to see those kind of get green lit, um... The story of uh, Renji and Rukia getting together after fighting these hollows and they thought they were going to die. Um, that would be really cool. So there's a there's a ton of stuff, man. I don't think... I feel like 50 episodes is not long enough, but maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, Apparently they're going to change a few things. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably not making uh, Yuha Bak uh, so fucking overpowered. He really was... They really gave that nigga Madara powers and he said uh i have the power of the editor <laughs> bro <laughs> he's so fucking powerful dude like i don't know i don't even remember like i reread the manga like three or four times and i still don't know how <laughs> i still don't know how ichigo beat him <laughs> For real. i don't fucking know so you know i'm looking forward to that man that'll be really really exciting um i'm just looking forward to the violence the animated new bankais i'm looking forward to that Keys case Bankai in particular. Uh, hmm. Let me see who else is. That's pretty much it. Like maybe we'll. Oh, and Eisen in the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. house arrest Great. Eisen. Yes, sir. <laughs> Looking forward to that too. So, um, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it for the anime scene. I I like it. I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing just from these two. I know you just finished Spy Family um yes sir. Uh, i haven't been able to catch up to that i'm a little behind so you know i uh what'd you think of it um i mean compared to the last shit i watched it was pretty fucking pretty fucking good uh i liked it uh i was definitely enjoying all the characters in the last show i watched uh i'm quitting heroing is what it's called mm-hmm. Uh, that show might be the most mid shit I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> so I, I, and is, I genuinely mean that. What is that show about? That's because uh, it, it was on board as soon as you gave me the title. I was like, oh, okay, this sounds interesting. I I can't like I don't know how to state my grievances without actually spoiling the entire season. Nah, go for it. But ah, go for it. Spoiler basically, it. nobody's watching. That, it. Basically, guy goes to the demon army to like to to help them or whatever after he's exiled by the humans for whatever Mm -hmm. uh, as a hero and then through there there's a lot of twists and turns and shit and it gets to a point where like all the development has absolutely no payoff like it, it it literally exemplifies the power of friendship bullshit that is way too prevalent in certain anime, it, it literally, like, the problem, the bigger problem is solved by uh, being friends with each other. Are you and serious? And believing in your friends, I guess. Um, it, I can't explain it any other way. Interesting. Like, it was really that bad. Wow. I... So all, all the... <laughs> the whole time, you just, you literally just wasted your time if you... <laughs> if you watched it because there is is nothing there's no substance at the end of the day wow okay that does not sound fun yeah it wasn't fun like i was actually with it for a long time more than i am usually with things it took me a while to to get on board but when i got on board i was like oh this is a pretty good story i mm-hmm. like this and then we got to the end of the season i was like oh no this can't be real. <laughs> I was fucking pissed. Jeez, uh, man. Big ass waste of time. Thanks. So, 
who would you say has been uh, in Spy Family? Who was your favorite character? Um, my favorite character. Uh, I really like Lloyd. I like most of the characters in the show. Mm -hmm. I think Lloyd is probably the the best, not the best, but he's one of my favorites. Right. He's a dope ass character, man. I loved him. Him or Frankie? Uh, really? Uh, the, <laughs> Frankie is hilarious. I love that guy, man. He just shows up at random fucking times. I love it. So Frankie's fucking hilarious. Yeah, he just be in there doing like random shit. Yeah, he just be vibing, bro. That's that's it. He just existing. So he'd be trying to help Lloyd, and it's just like Jesus and, Christ. And have you seen the uh the new episode to the new season already? Yeah, I've seen that episode. Okay, all right. That's a pretty solid opening. Um, starts off with some drama. I liked it. All right, nice. You'd have to watch it for yourself to like really get into it. Uh, okay, sure. I'm probably I'm so far behind in anime and watching this Road of Naruto video uh, is gonna make me go back and continue watching Naruto. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to. There's like I have like new comfort anime and um, Naruto is part of it. Naruto. Yu Yu Hakusho and Demon Slayer are like my three new comfort okay. anime. Before it used to be uh, Yu Yu, Case Closed, and Inuyasha. Um, which Inuyasha is mm. still in the top five, you know, because I'm a 90s kid. Um, oh, and Cowboy Bebop. But Bebop fell off for Shampoo, and then I replaced Shampoo with Naruto. So they, they just mm. cycle depending on how depressed I am. <laughs> I see. So I'm glad I have access to so much like iconic anime because I could just sit. I think I watched through. Um, I sat and I watched through Demon Slayer at least six times, all the way Damn. from beginning to That's end. Fast. Yeah, actually, probably more than that. I think it might be eight or nine because uh, I would also watch it to go to bed. I would watch it while I was at work. I would watch it waking up. I ended up watching it so much. I watched through it at least twice in Spanish. In yeah. Spanish? Uh-huh. So Crunchyroll has this thing. Crunchyroll has this thing. It has like, you know, five, six different dubs of the entire show, right? So I was watching it in English. Okay. It'll go through the entire thing in English, right? And then start the entire show over in the next dub. So I ended up watching it in Spanish. And because I had watched it six times, I already knew what they were saying. Like i was just like oh yeah i remember this scene and then one day like i had woken up from a nap and i had like left it on and i look over i was like oh yeah yeah i fuck with this scene and it, it was uh tanjiro talking to nezuko about how much you know like thank you for saving him or whatever um and it was like during the entertainment arc and i was like why can i not understand what they're saying and the shit was in spanish <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you know so i went through i i went through at least twice watching it in spanish um and then at least seven maybe eight times in english so it's a great show man it's a great show i mean i don't i wouldn't say uh before after watching it the first time right i would have said oh yeah uh the animation carries this show and that's actually not true um the animation definitely drives the show for sure but doesn't carry it i think the characters carry it i think tanjiro specifically um tanjiro inosuke uh maybe Zenitsu? not so much zinetsu like nah, don't just, don't say that no nah, he don't do got that. Eh. don't do that he's a great character though like i i would have to say like if i were to rank them it would definitely be tanjiro's at the top uh I don't know. Tanjiro is definitely at the top, and then it's a tie for Inosuke and Zenetsu, and I'll tell you why. Tanjiro is a very, I don't want to say complex character, but he's a character that is conflicted on many different, like, platforms. Because this character has a sympathy and a, and a heart for these demons that he's killing. But he's also understanding that he needs to kill these fucking demons, bro. <laughs> and not only that, he tries to make peace with every single enemy that he fights, which is, like, cool. But he also, it's not like Naruto, where he tries to, like, no, you could be a, like, you could be a good demon, like, all this other stuff. Nah, he doesn't do that talk no jutsu. He's like, I'm still cutting your fucking head off. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, he's such a cool character. And I would have to say, actually, you know what? I'm probably going to put Inosuke at the top. And Inosuke is a very interesting character, because he's very much like the Kimpachi type, where he's very like, 
like hardcore, like I have to fight, I have to kill whatever the thing is that I'm fighting. But there's six or seven different times where he's fighting an opponent that's like way stronger than him and he actually experiences fear. Like he doesn't back down, but he like understands that I could die here, which I don't think the characters like Kimpachi or even... Uh, I'm trying to think of some other ones that have the same similar trope or I'm the tough guy trope. Uh, and they just never back down. Inosuke actually does. He experiences fear and is able to to tell people like, hey, by the way, I'm nervous to fight this guy. Are you sure? Like, And then, of course, by the time the fight is over, he's just like, yeah, I knew we could win the whole time. Like, it's not even a big deal. Like, <laughs> And then mm. Zenetsu... Eh, he doesn't really have that same kind of balance that the other two have. Probably because he's probably my least watched character. Anytime he's like on screen, I'm just kind of like, all right, I'm waiting for him to go to sleep so he could be a badass. But like, that's it. Like his character mm. is just very, um, I said this to, to anime girl. I was like, Moroku in Inuyasha walked so characters like Zenetsu could run. And it's like that that pervy archetype, but strong type of character. And uh, mm. I think Zenetsu falls very close to that. But I don't know. I don't know. He's definitely a cool character. And then, of course, all the Hashira. Like, except for... I should probably read the manga at this point because I've watched so much of the fucking anime. Um, and I actually have a hot take, funny enough. Uh, I don't think Rengoku's death was as impactful as people online made it seem that's just my opinion like what like in, well, in terms of what like his impact on the show and like how important and how relevant he really was because you really only spend four i mean outside of the movie you really only spend four episodes watching him uh kill demons uh before they even get on the train uh he's a very likable character for sure but he's not we didn't really get to see more than one side of him. Like everything is just like boastful. I'm willing to take on the challenge type of, you know, personality. And then he gets his ass beat. Like, <laughs> and I just, I didn't see Rengoku as, I mean, of course I was sad. I mean, it's when you look at the impact of what he had, like his sad, like the level of sadness you have when he dies, it's not like a Jiraiya level. You know what I mean? It's not like an Asuma level. It's not like a Kakashi level, even though Kakashi comes back to life. Um, it's not the same thing. It doesn't It doesn't hit as hard. But when Yuzui uh, fights the brother and the sister and he gets his arm cut off and almost dies, uh, you know, saving Tanjiro, that actually hit a lot harder than it did within Rengoku's death. That's just my opinion. Probably because I, I spent way more time with Yuzui and like watching his character and how he treats everyone, not just, you know, the main three cast, but like everybody else and how smart and how intellectual he is and the flashbacks and stuff like that. He was just a dope ass character. He's so likable that it's just like seeing him get his ass beat was a lot harder to watch than Ren Goku dying. Mm, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but how so? Um, Ren Goku, like he taught Tanjiro a lot of good lessons. Uh, I, I don't, maybe I'm tripping, but I don't think he, Uzui is a, a good character, but like, I don't know. I like, I like Rengoku way more than I do him. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe impact, I guess is impact is a little subjective. Um, because like most of these guys, they don't, <laughs> they like, they, you know what I mean? They're, they're fighting demons. So not a true true they don't have a long lifespan right. ahead of them so i guess uh, just for the sake of the show um in the limited time i i fucked with ren goku a little more than uh, uzui mm. but when he he was fighting one of the strongest ren goku was out there fighting one of the strongest and then he got his ass beat but yeah that was that sucks <laughs> that's terrible man. he's fighting one of the big dogs yeah so I, I don't know. I've, I've, that fight to me was. The, both of the fights were dope. I just like uh, Rengoku a little more. Right. I guess. I'm interested to see uh, the third season, man. I'm interested to see where the rest of the Hashira go. I kind of want to read the manga 
but I also at the same time I don't. Like if I had read the manga and then watched the Yuzui fight, I probably would have. I mean, I ended up crying watching that. Man, I've just been a big, big bitch for the past year. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> if I were to like have read the manga and then watched the anime episode, I probably would have cried a little bit less. Just because I, I don't know. Maybe my personality type matches more with Yuzui than uh, Rin Goku, so that's probably why. So maybe I'm just a little biased. Um, which is definitely possible. Uh, mm. But yeah, you know, not only that, my boy got some bitches. <laughs> Where Rin Goku bitches at? Uh, he, I guess he didn't have any. Because mm. he's dead. Interesting. Because <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> crazy <laughs> absolutely fucking crazy man so uh do you fuck with uh black clover at all uh, i used to fuck with it pretty heavy um i don't watch it a lot anymore hmm. if at all is there a particular reason why or um well i got to i i actually caught up uh i cut caught up to the episodes like a year ago mm -hmm. and then they took a break because they were introducing new art styles and like a new storyline mm. and shit. So I liked it for a while. It definitely was less Naruto than people said it was. Um but I mean I liked uh I liked some of the characters in there. There was definitely a few characters in there that was pretty cool. So uh, I've say... seen some of the clips. All right. No, go ahead. Oh I was just gonna say I've seen some of the clips and they were pretty alright. So now, when you say it's less Naruto than people said, what what do you mean by that? Because it, I only watched the first three episodes of Black Clover, and I was just like oh. mad irritated. Um, I would say Jujutsu Kaisen is more Naruto than Black Clover. Um, I don't even know if I'd agree with that. Hmm. I would say, uh, I guess I guess Naruto in what way? I think the way I'm describing is like the the easy story beats and like the character tropes. Oh, if I mean if we're going by that, I would say it's pretty close to Yu Yu Hakusho then. Like No. That would be nah, Tokyo Revengers. So. That would be Tokyo Revengers for sure. So I guess more JJK uh, yeah, is more okay. bleach. JJK is more uh I mean Bleach never got to those levels to be honest. So. Really? You don't fuck with Bleach? It's not that I don't fuck with Bleach. It's just like the comparison doesn't un make enough sense to me. Mm -mm. What would you <clears> compare it to? To because like... they weren't they weren't catching bodies like they are in JJK. True. They're true. catching way too many bodies in JJK for it to be a Bleach comparison. Mm. Um. But hey, where the fuck were we at? Fuck, I'm like slow as shit. <laughs> what would you compare? What anime that currently exists would you compare JJK to then? Oh, JJK? Mm -hmm. uh, I thought we were talking about Black Clover. Um, nice smooth transition I, from one to the other. Oh, okay. I don't know what I'd say is comparable to JJK. Because JJK is so... Not absurd, but like... they're JJK is doing a, a route where I'm like, oh, oh, okay. I couldn't even explain to you. I think it's it's pretty unique. In terms of like what's going on in the, currently in the story to what happened in the first season, mm -hmm. in the first season they did this like little little trick, uh, this little this big trick, where one of the characters was, um, like he's in the intro, so you think he survived, right? Because mm -hmm. he's in the intro, but he gets fucking smoked in the <laughs> worst possible way, and you're like, oh whoa, this story is okay. This is different. Mm. This is some this is some shit. So I think it, I I couldn't compare it to anything to be honest. Wow, it, okay. it's a pretty dark and gritty story. Hmm. Even uh, I'm pretty caught up with the manga. So. Oh, all right. Well, since you got manga spoilers, you know I won't ask anymore. I might fuck around and ask a question I don't need the answer to. True. Yeah. You probably shouldn't answer. I, I, Ask that. Yeah. The only I, I think I only had one problem with JJK. Um, and then we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna talk about Elden Ring a little bit. Uh because I'm hitting my wall. Uh <laughs> Okay. Um Yeah, the only issue I had with JJK is trying to give me too much information all at one time. Like I was on board with everything JJK, uh, when I finally gave it an actual chance. 
and I was watching it with Arrow. Um, and it got to the episode where Gojo was fi- fighting the volcano head dude. Jogo. Jogo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, first of all, that dude's a bitch. Uh, second of all, he really... <laughs> that fight was just fucking hilarious. And Gojo trying to explain not only how curses work, but specifically for domain expansion. That's when I knew, oh, this show got some shit in it that is way over my head, right? Then after that, you get into episode 13 through 16 was really, that's when they're at the high school and his homie gets turned into that like monster or whatever. And he's forced to like kill some characters for the first time. And then they fight Stitches, whatever their homeboy's name is. Mahito. Yeah, 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 Mahito, and they beat his ass in the fucking school parking lot. <laughs> well deserved. <laughs> so I got right after that, and they were still trying to explain how curses work, and I was like, "This is way too much information." Like, I still don't understand how these powers work. Like, I just was finally able to understand that Gojo has the ability to manipulate and and do anything he wants with infinity and have like basic control over it. Uh, but like. Holy shit! Like, if there's these motherfuckers are this strong, like nobody should exist. Like, there should literally never be a threat as long as Gojo is around. Like, I just didn't understand. Oh. Like, well, um, there is like they they do information dump in the first season, but only because that is literally the prerequisite uh, things you need. The prerequisite information you need mm-hmm. to like fully understand what the fuck is going on right so it is a little information dumpy but <clears throat> the things that are going on like you can see some of the notes that are or or some of the the tones that are being set in the instructions like how this is going to work obviously like a good power system uh and they do in the beginning they actually do um when ghetto was talking to the other curses they explain the exact plan that they were going to use because get uh, uh not Geto, uh, Gojo is so strong. Mm-hmm. They were gonna pra- uh, they were gonna trap him in the prison realm, and then they were gonna uh, and then they were just basically just gonna kill everybody. Right after that, that was the scene where they're sitting at the diner and then he starts killing people. <laughs> yeah, that was a sick scene, man. <laughs> that was a great scene that was yeah no nah, that one had me like i had to turn away i was like yo what the fuck is this right now like they let the waitress get to the door and shit and they were like oh by the way <laughs> yeah sick sick individuals man so yeah but it's a, it's a the thing is with jjk it's it's very complicated so i understand that 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 is a lot of information you need but once you like get the basic gist of it it's like oh it's not that complicated hmm. you just had to pay a little more attention or you have to, you can't like just look at it like some random other power system. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So. I mean, I liked it a lot. I mean, I'd probably, if I were you, I'd give it another shot. Yeah. I'm a, if you look at some of the information, it, it, it starts to tie itself uh, pretty well. Yeah. I'm definitely going to go back and watch 13 through through 16 because those, those fights are dope. Like the fights are animated very, very well. So it keeps me hooked. But like when they start info dumping and i'm just like uh, I, I, just are you gonna fight the guy and then next thing you know he's dead like i was just like oh all mm-hmm. right so hey yeah you're right they do they catch a lot of bodies in that show like yeah they they, they kill a lot of people uh, and it gets crazy. worse it's, it's actually gonna get worse in the next season oh believe it or not wow. this was actually like the e- this was the good part this is like oh yeah this is the good ending part mm. nobody dies yet or n- not as much sheesh well, they start really dropping bodies soon. Damn, I love to. I love to hear. It. I love to see it. Can't wait. When does uh? Do we have a date on the new season of JJK or? Um, I don't think so. They they've just given us like, a, hey, we're doing it. Oh. Uh, we just finished JJK Zero. The movie did really well, so I think they're just starting the the rollout for like season two. Hey, we're doing it. Um. Uh, apparently it'll be in 2023 the next season so that could be third or third quarter i'm guessing third quarter next year maybe hmm so so i expect it's probably so, or sometime around there okay excellent excellent 
Well, yeah. um, I'm excited for that. I'll uh, I'll take it. I'll go back and rewatch it. You know, I'm gonna take your advice on this one and uh, give it a give it a real quick chance. Uh, the last thing I, I want to really like JJK. Yeah, Sorry. the last thing I want to talk about. And we'll probably talk about it for a few minutes. I put an article in the uh, in the chat here uh, that was basically that Namco Bandai is not done with games like Elden Ring. Like Elden Ring is just the beginning for them. And they're looking to make way more Souls games. So, um, I bet. Yeah. Money, big money maker. Yeah, truly, truly. So, um, according to their, well, I mean, there was also no games out at the time. So, you know, not diminishing that the game is good or not. It's just, you know, I mean, like, there weren't a, I don't think when, when you see an Elden Ring game or like a Souls game, most people are like, see that and go, oh, maybe I should push my shit back. Hmm. I would definitely push my shit back. Everyone sure. was everyone was hyped for for Elden Ring to be honest. Mm. So there uh there are rumors that there's a western, european and another japanese based uh souls like games that they have uh planned ahead of time. So I'm interested to see what the western one is going to be like. I don't know if they mean western as in America or western as in cowboys and indians or what they mean by that. Uh, mm. so I'm, I'm interested to see that. Would you play a Red Dead Redemption, uh, Elden Ring type game? What? I'm playing as a cowboy or? Uh, I don't, I don't fucking know, bro. Like, I don't even know what they I don't know. That. Like, I don't fuck with John Marston enough to be doing that. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't, I, I don't. I don't know if they do that environment. That environment doesn't seem the best for a Souls game. Yeah, they I, I would really think so, They love really big too. fantasy lands. Yeah, I would think they so, They could too. make it a Western fantasy. That could possibly be it, but I don't know what they'd, how they'd specifically do a Red Redemption, a Red Dead Redemption style. Yeah. Not that I'd, I'd think that'd be something they'd do. I don't even think... I, I think Red Dead... Uh, yeah, Red Dead Redemption, not Revolver. Uh, Red Dead Redemption was... Pretty pretty great game. Red Dead Two, on the other hand, yeah, it's very. I think they were both pretty good. Yeah, it's very uh creative. It's very much like uh, I love a lot of the stuff that's in that game and The Last of Us Two, uh, where it's like when you shoot certain enemies in, in certain areas, they interact differently. Uh, and so there's just like that's already an indicator that there's going to be like so much to do in the game, like so many creative uh, features. So, um, and then they have uh, more Japan games planned. So that's cool. You interested in a yeah. second Sekiro? Um, I I I like all the Souls games, so mm. uh, I'm probably not the best guy to ask. But yeah, I'm I'm down to play. From Software knows how to make really good games, mm -hmm. so when they make a game, I'm instantly like, oh okay, I'll give this a shot. Right. Even if I'm not like super hyped about it or anything, but usually when they they drop a trailer, they drop some heat. So. I'm not, I'm usually always tapped into the the FromSoft shit because I've been playing those games like fucking all my life basically. Interesting. Well, that's yeah. dope to hear, man. Um, I'm glad. What about you... you though? Would you like a Red Dead, uh, Red Dead, <sighs> Elden Ring or whatever? Dark Souls. I'm thinking of it like a uh, a Dark Souls mixed with the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I think that the the one part that doesn't make any sense to me is like the giant monsters that the Souls games usually have. Um, mm. How would that work? Like, what would that look like? Um, I mean, there could be a lot of lore there that makes them exist, but I don't know. Uh, I'd be down to play it, but uh, I'm a little hesitant to even think about it because... Red Dead, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 rubbed me the wrong way, so. <laughs> it did. It, the game was just like, I played like maybe seven or eight hours of it, and I was just like constantly falling asleep. Like, it was just, it was just boring. Like, I don't know what it was, but, you know. Really? Yeah. Maybe I need to go back and like replay it. But like, I just remember like trying to stream it, and I was just like kept falling asleep. And like, even when I wasn't streaming it, uh, and I was just playing it because I, I was also playing God of War PS4 at the same time. Um, and I was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, let me play like Red Dead. And for some reason, I kept getting like droopy headed and like tired. And I'm like, damn, like what the fuck is going on? Like, I don't even I don't even remember any of the story components from when I played. So, you know, it might be time to, to go back and play it. 
my only there's a few issues i have with red dead 2 and one of them is that epilogue that epilogue is so shit mm. um even though i love john marson that epilogue was like the epitome of like holy shit this is fucking we're just stretching it this shit is so boring right <laughs> Please stop. I don't want to build this house. Yes. Please stop. Please stop this. But maybe that, that might be a me problem and not a the game problem. But shit, that shit was long and that shit was boring. Nah, it's a, it's a valid criticism. It's valid. So My yeah. only thing is I don't, I don't see myself playing... Uh, I didn't play Red Dead 2 as much as I did Red Dead 1. That could be because the multiplayer for 2 was kind of shit. And but when I played, I don't think it really existed or it wasn't that good at all. But I, don't know, I couldn't I couldn't see myself playing it more than the first one. I don't know though. What about you? Did you fuck with? Uh, all right, well I already know that answer to that. But. <laughs> nah, go ahead, ask it anyway. <laughs> nah, nah. Here we go. Nah, I'm ready for it. I'm gonna give you an honest answer. Ready? Three, two, one. Would you play one? Red Dead Two? Oh. Would I play Red Dead Two right now? More than more than Red Dead One, oh! Or would you rather play it more? I guess. Uh, that's a tough one actually, because Red Dead Two has a lot of cool shit in it that I've always wanted to experience, but like I just have to slog through the sleepy story parts. You know what I mean? Uh, mm. If I could find a way to like get a little bit more immersed and enjoy Red Dead Two, I probably would. But yeah, I'd probably still pick Red Dead Two. Just because it's more Red Dead Redemption, and in Red Dead Redemption, there was a lot of cool, crazy, fun stuff that you could do um, that like equals Just Cause or Crackdown levels of hilarious, you know, where you're just doing shit just to do shit. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I would like to, I would like to partake partake in that. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. So interesting. Yeah. Now turning it Dark Souls, I don't, I don't know what that would look like, and even if I did, it would probably be extremely nerve-wracking yeah so i mean they could use the gun system from uh the gun parry system from bloodborne yeah that'd be crazy i actually really like that parry system mm -hmm. it's way easier than like most of the other shit true very true hmm. so well i think that's pretty much it for video game talk today you got anything you want to get off your chest um nope all right, all right. Wise words as ever, Clank. Um, I nah, I just want to say thank you guys for listening to this week's episode. Make sure you guys check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash canon culture, where you guys can get those uncensored episodes. Uh, we talk about a lot of drama, a lot of bullshit, uh, me specifically. So you guys can go and check that out. Just a little, you know, just a little supporty support, you know? But um, that is going to be it for this week's episode. We want to thank you guys for listening. Make sure to keep it canon.